are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about LeBron James. Now, as we know, LeBron James has uh, done so much to hurt the game of basketball, hurt the NBA, uh, pushing all kinds of narratives. Uh, trying to push all kinds of narratives onto the American people. And one of the things that Matrix and myself talked about was the fact that just maybe, just maybe all this, you know, courageous and brave uh, virtue signaling the NBA did, they just happened to make sure they did it when there were going to be no fans, no fans in the arena. So in turn, no immediate repercussions onto the players. Right? We all know everything LeBron James has done. We've all we all know everything he has run his mouth about. Um I've said he's turned himself into the most uh, despicable human being in sports. And uh he has said some wildly irresponsible things and in my opinion some things that have been dangerous, okay? Uh most notably the fact that uh police are hunting down black people. It's a wildly irresponsible statement. It, it's a stupid statement. It's a, it's a false statement. And it's a statement that influences the weak-minded, okay? People that are easily influenced. Dumbasses that are dangerous, for lack of a better way of putting it, okay? Uh, so, what we're starting to see, the other night at a Cavs game, guy showed up, had a shirt, LeBron is racist, Gloria goes west, referring to LeBron's mother. LeBron is a narcissist. Well, look, he got three for three, so uh, good job you'd be in the Hall of Fame fan. Security removed him. Now we go to Atlanta. Last night, a fan once again starts getting after LeBron James. Starts getting after LeBron James. LeBron James heckled by fans during Lakers games. They stopped the play. They stopped the play over the fact that LeBron was getting his little feelings hurt. Well, look, honestly, dude, you deserve everything that these fans throw at you as long as they do not come on the court and get physical with you, okay, or they don't cross that line into blatant racism, okay? Other than that, man, they call you a motherfucker. You deserve it. I I'm just being real. I'm being real. Uh, very quickly, there's an article, and I will show the video. I will show that video. Uh, there is a. This is from Fox News. There is a limited number of fans in Atlanta, Georgia, Monday night due to the mad cow disease pandemic. But that didn't appear to stop L.A. Lakers superstar LeBron James from getting in a heated argument with some along the sidelines. Hecklers appeared to jaw with James during the fourth quarter of the con contest between the Lakers and the Hawks, which led to referees to stop play and security getting involved, according to the video of the incident posted on Twitter. This is from uh, a blue check mark, Rob Perez. Let's play the video. Bam. I mean, the referees are actually telling the security they may want to Usher somebody yeah. uh, to the, out, out of the building. They might be gone. I think this was happening also. Somebody was all over LeBron. And they're still on LeBron. I think that's what yeah, it is. A few minutes ago, and I know he was glaring into the seats. <laughs> I, I think LeBron... Obviously the fans in question, allegedly two women who were escorted from State Farm Arena... One of them gave the middle finger on her way out. Good job. According to the Athletics' Chris Kirshner, James later referred to one of them as courtside Karen in a tweet alongside some laughing emojis. Uh, you know, what's amazing about this is that LeBron James, who I did a video on, is about to cross into the $1 billion mark as far as career earnings go off the backs of the people of China. Uh, good God, this guy. Uh, look, you actually got into a conversation with these people? Okay, you got into a back, back and forth? 
look, man, you brought all this on yourself. You need to understand that. I look before last year, I actually liked LeBron James. I did. Uh, and, and then you just you flushed your uh, you flushed your career down the tubes. You flushed the NBA down the tubes. You know, you start trying to fund felons' ability to vote. Yeah, you're going to lose a lot of Patriot support. You are. You have basically given the middle finger to 77 million people that we know of. Probably more like 85 million, but okay. You gave the middle finger to, to half of America, man. Do you expect that when these stadiums, these arenas get sold out, you're not going to take shit? They're going to destroy you. They are. This is going to be the rest of your career in all likelihood. They're going to be kicking out people out of arenas forever, and you brought it on yourself. You brought it on yourself. And the fact that you had to get your... Look, you got your feelings hurt so bad by a heckler, you had to have them removed? Are you kidding me? Man, you sure are a tough guy. You're a tough guy. You talk a lot of mad shit till people start calling you out on it. It seems. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Look, as long as these women didn't cross over into blatant racism, all right, nobody needs that, even though he's not afraid to get into it the other way around, bigot. Uh, as long as they didn't cross over into that, uh, I'm not really sure why they would have gotten thrown out. I. You know, they're saying they didn't give the middle finger till they left the arena. Other than that, being heckled is part of sports. People have been heckled forever. And LeBron, you've got a lot to be heckled about. You deserve it. Okay? You deserve to hear shit from now until you retire. And then when the NBA puts you in the Hall of Fame, because they put everybody in the Hall of Fame... Once they put you in the Hall of Fame, you deserve to be heckled during your speech. Okay? That's what you've that is what you have made yourself into. Congratulations. Make sure you grab this Lawoke James, the original Lawoke James shirt out of the merch store. I'll give you 10% off this mother effer. And then you can wear it to a game if you dare want to pay for a game. I wouldn't go. But look. If you guys, if one of you end up being brave enough to show up at an arena in one of our shirts, make sure you take a picture of it and send it to us. I promise you will make a video. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.